Jane Wilde was someone who was very much engaged with her children. And we see this very much in the fact that she read them poetry. Oscar remembers his mother at a very early point reciting poetry. And of course, his literary interests came from her early nurturing. She wrote every morning, she translated. And when you look at the volume of her work, her productivity as a writer is astounding. Weary men, what reap ye? Golden corn for the stranger. What sow ye? Human corpses that wait for the avenger. Fainting forms, hunger stricken, what see you in the offing? Stately ships to bear our food away amid the stranger's scoffing. She was very strongly in favour of Irish nationalism. I go even further to say she was very much in favour of armed rebellion. Like Prussia's brave children, we'll stoop to no lord, but demand our just rights at the point of the sword. People used to laugh a little bit at the way she dressed. Someone called her a, a suburban drama queen, which was a bit cruel. People mocked her affectations from time to time. In particular, in Dublin, there was much merriment when she became Lady Wilde, when her husband was knighted. They chortled about how the woman who'd wanted to burn down Dublin Castle and unseat the monarchy was now happy to be known as Lady Wild. We can see certainly an element of what we now are very familiar with, the kind of celebrity culture, both for Jane as this famous Baranza, the Irish poet, but Oscar himself became famous in London almost before his writing was known. He understood really early on that the performance of the public role was crucial. And Oscar knew how to perform the role, the acting role of Oscar Wilde. He dressed to perform that self. And I think he learned that from Jane. <laughs> 